will be training on germicide today. Before we start the production proper, I would like to introduce all these chemicals, one after the other. Now, here is my Isa booster, as you can see. Here is the phenol. We have the Isa concentrate. This is the Lysol. Here is the pine oil. We have the Isa thickener, as well as the Texapon. Please take notes. Like this Texapon, I'm not going to use all. This is what I have, the batch I have. I'm just trying to show you so you will see how it is. Now, still on the introduction of the chemicals, I would like to introduce them according to use. Here is my Texapon. Texapon is the number one. Texapon is a solvent. It helps water and oil to come together as one. Now, here is my phenol. Phenol is a germicide. It's very key in this production. It helps to kill germs. It's very corrosive. And that is why it is poured into this kind of container. You know, their corrosiveness determines the kind of container I used to display them. Also, after my phenol, we have the pine oil. Pine oil is an antiseptic. So it's not as corrosive as phenol. And that's why you can see me put it here. We use pine oil. Pine oil is a major component in the top production. Also, here is my Lysol. You know, Lysol boosts the pine oil and the phenol effects. However, it's optional. If you are trying to reduce cost, Lysol is optional. Now, here is my methyl salicylate. It's also part of the chemicals we are going to be using for this production. It, uh, it adds a sensitive smell to this production. You know, it, uh, it's used in rub making and bam making. So it gives a peppery sensation in the production. Here is my Isa booster. Like the name implies booster. It boosts the smell of this production. Here is my Isa thickener. You can see the viscosity. By the time we add water and mix it together, it helps the products not to just be watery. It will have a, a consistent viscosity. And here is my industrial camphor. For those of us that have watched the video on insecticide, that was the last video I made on insecticide, I used industrial camphor. And that reminds me, shout out to Dr. Bisayo on top of He was the first person to comment on my previous video. As from now on, I will shout out to those people that comment first on my first video. So if you are a new subscriber or you are just joining you, you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to this channel because there will be so many goodies coming. And I'm going to be shouting out to those people that first of all comment. So make sure you put on the notification bell so that when the video is uploaded, you will be able to know. Now, for this production, you can see I deliberately use this kind of containers to measure this thing. This is the container that is commonly used for germicide. You can also use something like this. There's another one that I will display in the thumbnail of, the, of this video that is not here at the moment. Now, why are, are we this, uh, why the choice of containers like this? Because genocide is corrosive. If you leave it in inside containers like this, it could spoil the, the container if the concentration of the genocide is very thick. So please take notes. Now, while we go into the production proper, I'll be using I'll be mixing, starting the mixture with the phenol and a pinch of my texapon. Now, after dissolving my texapon into my phenol, the phenol's power has been reduced. It's not as much as the way it is when I added just, when I've not added the texapon. So therefore, after adding my texapon, I can now pour into this container so that we can be able to do the production. Here is my texapon. I'm trying to cut it open. Now I'm putting it inside this container. Oh, sorry. Cover this container is sealed. Please make sure you are wearing glove. Protect yourself. This is the phenol. It looks it's very close in color to this, but this is corrosive. If we pour it inside 
a ragulis container raw like this it will melt this container it's that bad now my texas pond is opened and i'm pressing it inside the soft the fennel the measurements of texapons texapon rather that i have used i will put in the measurements in the description box and the link in the description box rather so we are supposed to cover it to we'll make sure you cover it you can see it's splitting so i have to cover it this way Thereafter, I'll be adding in my pine oil. There is something we call oil phase and water phase in germicide production. This is my oil phase. The phenol is an oil, the pine oil is an oil. Now, this is Isa compound. So I did mention that earlier. But it's also very important in production of genocide. This is my Isaac compound. So after mixing phenol with texapon, we can add other oil components inside that jar. Then shake thoroughly. So the Isaac compound is in, the pine oil is in. I cook it again, then I shake it all. Thereafter, I'll be adding in my metusa and my camphor. Please take notes. The metusa and camphor can be used alternatively. I'm using metusa lysolate now. At the same time, I'm using my industrial camphor. But please take notes. You can use either of the two. The phenol is 65 mil. I'll put the measurement of the chemicals in the description box. Not to worry. Here is my camphor, my industrial camphor. So, so sorry about today's noise. I'm trying to remove the cover and I shake it together thoroughly. Make sure you don't allow it to split. You can see the way I use my hand to key it. Thereafter, I'll be pouring it into a transparent container so that we all can see how it looks at this rate at this level now it cannot spoil it cannot bust this container but not for too long if you leave it inside this container for too long it can still spoil this container so i'm going to be covering it then i will shake it so we can all see the way it looks shake it thoroughly thereafter I'm supposed to be adding in my water so because this container will not contain everything I will be pouring it into this container however before then it is important that you note that there are different processes to such production I can decide to add all my components together then I had water but this production, I'm adding all the oil phase. All my whole components are here. Lysol is a water phase. 
Isa concentrate is under the water face. Isa booster also comes under the water face. Isa signal also comes under the water face. So I'll be pouring this into this so that other components will occupy this container. Please use funnel. I'm used to this thing I'm doing, and that is why it may seem so easy while I pour. Now, because I added little texapon into this before now, I'm going to shake it thoroughly so that the texapon inside this will also dissolve. If you are doing your production, you don't need a second batch of texapon in it. I added texapon into this by mistake because I had it in mind that I was using this for the production. So I'll be adding in my water. I have added my Isaac concentrate as we can see. Thereafter, I'll be adding in my Isaac booster. Isaac booster. Isaac booster looks very much like Isaac concentrate however they are not the same after adding in my isa booster i will be adding in my thickener i want to dissolve this thickener into water before adding it into the products i have added water to my booster to my i have added water to my thickener you can see how watery it is some people refer to this thickener added with water as whitener so i'm going to cut it open and pour it into this container I've dissolved my whitener and that is what I'm adding into this. Oh, sorry about that. So here is the end of our production. We are only expected to cover it up and shake it thoroughly so that all the components, the water, the whole face will blend well. Now, I'm going to show us the picture of the end product in transparent containers so that we can see. I told us earlier that there are several containers we can use to package our gemicide. This is one of it. Some people package it in one liter like this. We also have this container in one liter and we have a smaller version of it. You will see all those in the thumbnail of this video. Thank you for viewing. Please don't mind the noise.